bless him in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, we give you all the praise. our voices and ask the Lord for a visitation tonight inside the overflow Father we ask you for a visitation we ask you for a mighty visitation please pray give me a visitation tonight in the name of your son Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we are gathered unto you and to you alone. Your people have come from far and near with expectations in their hearts for this miracle service. Lord, we declare by the power of your spirit that you saturate this place with your presence. Let there be healings tonight. Let there be deliverances tonight. Let there be breakthroughs tonight. Set the captives free. Wipe the tears of your people. Step into impossible situations, O oh God. Prove yourself once and again in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please greet one another and be seated. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I welcome everyone to our miracle service. This is our second to the last miracle service for the year. Hallelujah. We celebrate Jesus. And I trust that God will do us good in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that many have sacrificed to come from far and near. Um, I want you to know that the Lord will not disappoint you in the name of Jesus Christ. I see a lot of families that have come from different places. Right from Tuesday, people began to travel in for the meeting. Some have been around for extended periods, fasting and praying. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. All you need is one genuine encounter. You don't need many. One genuine encounter can wipe your tears of many years. Hallelujah. So I like our hearts to be open for an encounter. Just one encounter. Jacob had one encounter and he changed his life forever. Let our hearts be positioned. Take away any sense of familiarity and let your heart be open. I came here full of hunger and expectation. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. While I prayed for this meeting, while I prayed for this meeting, the Lord put some things very seriously in my heart and I want us to please listen. Tonight's miracle service is very strange because about would I say 65% of the miracles 
will simply come from understanding. The remaining impartation and prophetic ministrations will cover for the rest. So I want you to pay attention because as the word of God comes, many of us will find reasons as to why certain things in our lives are the way they are. Listen, let me teach you very briefly the kind of attitude you must have to receive in the miracle services. You must not only blindly come to receive, you must understand what the Spirit of God is doing, how He is doing it, and your role in it. Praise the Lord. Oftentimes, people come, they fall down, they stand up, they roll around, they don't even know what happened to them, and then they don't know what you know to do. You may have come confused, wanting direction for your life, and a prophetic word comes then you don't know what to do with it. You must learn how to use the word as a tool to bring victory. Are we together now? So be sensitive. The first thing you need to do, uh, we're not into the teaching yet. This is just a digression. Be sensitive to when your word will come. Praise the Lord. Not every word is for everybody. There are times it could be through a joke. It could be through an explanation. It could be whilst ministering to someone, your word will come and you will know this is the word of the Lord to you. Now, when you get that word, you receive it and walk in the consciousness. Some of these words will come as prophecies. Some of them will come as prophecies. Some of them will come as direction, instructions. Do A and B and you will get C. Take note of it. So you pen it down. Oh, this is what I have not been doing. Or this is what I should do. Some of them will come as encouragement. You are already doing the right thing. You just need to continue. Some of them will come as rebuke. God is challenging you and telling you to repent from a pathway or an ideology. Are we together now? Some of them will come as an impartation. Some of them will come as deliverance. God separating you from the influences that keep you bound. Some of them will come as the miracle working power of God. You just need the introduction of the God factor into your situation. So we, we have various kinds of issues here and it's important for us to position ourselves. There are some of us here, what you need is deliverance. You are not disobedient. What you need is deliverance. There are demonic influences standing your way. There are some of us, what you need is an instruction. You are confused. You don't know how to move from where you are to where you need to be. One instruction that is diligently pursued will take you to that level. Some of us, what you need is rebuke. A wake-up call. Some of us, what you need is empowerment. You know what to do, but to, the grace to do it is not there. Are we together? So what comes upon you is grace from God. Some of us, what you need is prophecy, an introduction of a prophetic word into your life and your destiny. We have different situations and I want us to know everybody will not be treated the same way. It's according to your problems, but also according to your hunger and alignment. Are we together now? So please pay attention. Not everybody needs deliverance. Not everybody may need an impartation. You know what you need. And so you pay attention to receive it. Hallelujah. When your word comes and you know this is a word for you, you celebrate it. You receive it. You jot it down. And you receive grace. You are sensitive to all the instructions. When they say stand up, you stand up. Do this. Pray, you pray. You see, God designed this program as a representation of his love, his mercy, and his power. Praise the Lord. The miracle service was designed to reveal the love of God. The miracle service was designed to reveal the mercy of God. The miracle service was designed to reveal the sovereign power of God. So our alignments to these things. There is no one here who opens up himself who will not have something to receive. It's impossible. We're talking of God here, not the president of a nation, not the minister of finance, but your word will come as instructions. 
prophecies. Right? Rebuke, correction, direction, a new paradigm. Probably you have been doing what you are doing a certain way. And that's why you've not been getting results. And so God will challenge you and say, why don't you try it this other way? All of a sudden you turn and your destiny opens up. For some, you've been trying to do certain things, but the grace is not there. And all of a sudden, the grace comes and you get up and effortlessly begin to walk in certain realities. It is important. It's important for us to open up our hearts. Hallelujah. Before I go into the teaching, again, I want us to pray and say, Lord, make me sensitive to my word. That revelation that will wipe my tears open me up to breakthroughs god is able to do any and everything but your prophetic word can come and pass you by because of carelessness because of insensitivity distraction lukewarmness please pray from the depth of your heart i trust that god will do a very quick work tonight so that we we'll finish on time lord i'm tired of the situation that i came with there, there's got to be a way. There is not that hard. There has to be a way. Show me. Show me. It can't be struggle all the way. There is a way out of this. Please open my eyes, oh God. My marriage is not working. There has to be a way out. My destiny has refused to open up. There has to be a way. You are not a liar. I take responsibility. There's something I'm not seeing. There's something I'm not doing. There is something I don't understand. There is somewhere I'm not obeying you. Please pray. I humble myself tonight. Lord, it's not that difficult. I repent of rebellion. I tremble at your word. Your word for me. Let it come as an instruction. I take it from you as an instruction. Let it come as a rebuke. I allow it to change me. Let it come as a key. I receive it to open that door. Let it come as grace and empowerment to walk in a reality. Let it come as an anointing. Let it come as deliverance. Separating me from the demonic influences that keep my will down. This is why the miracle service was organized. If we achieve this tonight, then we have done well. I'm tired of the status quo. It's got to be more than this. We're tired of the status quo. It's got to be more than this. It's got to be more. It's got to be more. It's got to be more than this. It's got to be more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A lot of problems in our lives. Please listen. Please, please listen. A lot of problems in our lives. A lot of issues in our lives. A lot of challenges in our lives. Setbacks and limitations in our lives are caused by the presence and the influence of demon spirits. I need you to understand this. A lot of the predicaments in the lives of many people, limitations, setbacks, lack of progress, right, are caused by the presence and the influence of demon spirits. Jesus did not leave us in the dark as to the possibility of strange spirits interfering with human activities the bible says while men slept this is jesus speaking he says the enemy came and he planted something they woke up and they saw what he planted are we together now and he said the enemy has done this it was jesus himself that said the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy so let's settle it once and for all 
that there are certain areas of our lives right certain challenges setbacks in our lives that are a direct result of the presence and the influence of demon spirits praise the lord i feel very sad for people who don't believe this because you see spiritual realities are like laws you don't have to believe them for them to exist they are there are we together now so no matter what perspective how you argue whatever it is it doesn't change the fact that it is there if i call promise a woman no matter how i try to convince you he knows he's a man it's up to your opinion you can have your biological uh, conviction as to why you think he's a female but the truth remains that he's a male figure hallelujah praise the lord so a lot of the problems in our lives are caused by the presence and the influence of demon spirits but many other problems and here's where my teaching starts many other limitations many other setbacks in our lives are self-inflicted please listen please listen while it is true i started by letting us know so that we settle it that there is a place for demon spirits but it is a lie for us to convince ourselves that everything in our life is caused by demons no a major part of the things that happen the limitations right the obstacles the the the, the setbacks the problems in our lives many of them are self-inflicted meaning that they have happened by our authorization we authorize those things to happen in our lives and this is going to be my first challenge for us tonight because if i can get us to a point where we close the door to self-inflicted limitations self-inflicted problems self-inflicted issues i guarantee you for many of us, over 60 to 70% of your prayer requests would have been answered. Are we together now? Many of the issues in our lives today are the effect of our consistently violating the laws of the kingdom and the laws of life. Write it down most of what we are receiving in our lives are the punishments literally the punishment for violating the laws of the kingdom and we do this all the time we do this once and again many people many sincere people seated here looking at me passionately desiring god to step into their lives many of us keep crying yet we keep violating the laws of the kingdom the laws of life and we keep getting punished again and again and again and again and again and again hallelujah imagine trying to bath a pig are we together now and the water with which you want to bath the pig is muddy is that not a counterproductive venture because at the end of it you are just adding more that's how many people are so we come to god trusting god for a miracle but the truth is in our hearts we are unwilling to find out the role we have played over the predicaments in our lives it is generally not a natural human tendency to accept responsibility it is easier to pass blames at demons and people and government and parents are we together it is a lot more comfortable to point fingers at people but every time you come to god if it is god you come to he will first bring you to a place where you identify by the spirit the role you have played in authorizing the tragedies and if you are humble enough to receive i don't care what the situation is you qualify for the mercy of god 
the mercy of God never appears before people who are arrogant and unwilling to realize the fact that a part of the problems in my life may truly be caused by demon spirits. Let me tell you something. If Satan, listen, if Satan suddenly disappears from the face of human life, many people's lives will still not be improved. Are we together? If there is a certain prophetic pronunciation from heaven, every demon plus Satan, all of you relocate to one part of the world and never go out from there. You would think in one week people's lives will change. You would be surprised to find out that for most people, their lives will remain the same. Is God helping us tonight? The effect of our consistently violating the laws of the kingdom and the laws of life let me tell you something about laws by laws i mean principles laws are unemotional laws are unemotional there's no sentiments to them there's no tribalism human beings can have soft spot based on tribalistic ideologies based on uh, geographical ideologies based on relational ideologies but laws the laws of the kingdom and the laws of life right they are unsentimental they are unemotional meaning your cry your tears will not change their effect number two laws are unforgiving amazing laws are unforgiving very unforgiving number three laws are non-negotiable there's no bargain you cannot negotiate the laws of life and you cannot negotiate the laws of the kingdom it's impossible there is no amount of begging that will make a woman carry a child for only one month and say my case is a special case i'm not very strong if you must be pregnant get set for nine months are we together it says according to the time of life this is a law of life are we together there is no amount of jumping up and down and singing praise and worship that will ordinarily make a man become established no there is a law are we together there is a law of growth. These are laws of life. If you plant beans today and come and get a full grown beans stock, it's a sign that you need to run away or seek an explanation from God whether it was a special miracle to teach you something. Imagine that one of these little babies, they just gave birth to them and by the next day they are speaking and say, Mommy, you need to understand the way life works. You see, it's either the gift of prophecy is walking through that baby supernaturally or that baby is not really a baby are we together now i know this is funny but it is very very serious laws are unemotional laws are non-negotiable laws are unforgiving this is the part of laws that make it serious they are unforgiving you violate them you get punished immediately there are people who never rebuke you when you do something wrong right some of our parents are like that they still got they keep gathering it like a book of remembrance and when your cup is full they just open it and start from the time it happened till that time but laws you violate them immediately you don't fall from a building and not feel the pain until after two weeks you just have no 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 no, no. as soon as you hit it there if you didn't feel the pain is the extent of the destruction that has happened to your body but the pain is there are we together the laws of the kingdom let me show you three important principles we have been violating in our lives that have brought upon us self-inflicted tragedies i teach these things because i love every one of us and it's a challenge to be wiser to be better to rise more number one 
the first principle that i believe many in the body of christ have ignored that's why we never become successful that's why we never taste of the greatness that the word of god says is us is that we lack determination and persistence please write it down you hear me hammer on this all the time we lack the determination and the persistence to succeed life will never hand you the keys of greatness when you pursue life in a play it safe easy and i don't want to be hot attitude no you've got to be determined you've got to be persistent everybody say determination say it one more time say persistence we lack persistence we lack determination how many people have not gotten jobs today they think it's the devil ask them how many cvs they have submitted and they tell you i submitted three can you imagine the person even looked at me and said i graduated with a third class he lambasted me and i say i will embarrass myself again it is that kind of attitude that will keep a man poor forever are we together now yeah we are so egocentric that we are unwilling to pay the price of determination how many pastors want crowd they want a great church but there's no determination to succeed determination is what fuels diligence determination is what fuels hard work you must be determined let me tell you what determination is it is the attitude and the resolve to succeed that is greater than the pain and the challenges you will meet on the way whoever possesses that quality must succeed greater than the pain greater than the embarrassment greater than the ridicule greater than the mockery greater than the misunderstandings you sustain a paradigm i was born from this family we never had opportunity for a nice meal we ate once a day we struggled for instance and you make a determination that in the name of the lord what my parents could not give me i will give them i make a determination Are we together? How many people, young people, you ask them, did you write jam? They say no. You say why? They say there's nobody to buy jam for. But that person has a phone. Are we together? A phone of 40,000. It took determination to get that phone. Are we together? That person you are seeing has not gone to school, but he can operate an Android device. It took passion. It was the passion that made him to go and look at another person's phone, although he did not have it. Are we together? Many, there are many of our young children, they take last in class and they can play computer game with their eyes closed. It took determination to become a master. Are we together? Listen, we need to redirect our focus and get serious about success. Success is not for weak people. Success is not for lazy people success is not for fearful people success is not for those who chicken out in life right the man who will be successful is the one who can get up when you fall while people are laughing just keep cleaning your body when you succeed they will eat back their words i guarantee you determination so many people want to succeed we think god is a magician that's why we love prophets and many of you pressure men of god around Oh, prophesy to me, speak to me. Have you not heard what Timothy, um, well, the, the encouragement that Paul told his son in the gospel, Timothy? He says, this charge I give unto you, Timothy, that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy. I have given you a prophetic word, right? War with it. No determination. No determination at all. Are you determined to succeed? The answer is not yes the answer can be seen listen the proof of passion is pursuit what are you pursuing what occupies your time what keeps you awake in the night when others are snoring away their destiny when young people are sleeping as if they are 60 years old your mother at 65 is sleeping you to a child of 20 you are lying down by her side two of you are sleeping same time waking up same time i tell you you will lick the feet of destiny 
if you don't rise up and take your destiny seriously we violate this law i told you to be sensitive because for some of us this is your prophetic word already god is telling you it's time to jack up see the most the greatest failure in life is not the one who tries and fails is the one who is less than fair about everything i don't like those kinds of people they i will never be friends to less than fair people people who are lukewarm in everything a little of god a little of women a little of beer a little of 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 uh, um what now laziness a little of sleep a little of hard work those kinds of people are dangerous because they they don't there is nowhere they stand being friends with them would destroy you a little of loyalty a little of betrayal it's better to know they are for you or not for you a little of everything if you have those kinds of friends let me tell you the truth break away from them i repeat break away from them don't keep all this loyalty we grew up together we went to the same school so what when it was time for abraham to go and offer isaac he left his loved ones his relatives there are times you need to even leave your family members because sometimes they love you too much to allow you succeed are we together they love you too much every time you want to take giant steps they say i play it safe oh you know the way this our life is no no and please let me challenge us especially for our loved ones and our parents here i believe in responsibility but no parent should over pamper their child no parent my children will be born in a rich family but they are going to wash their clothes i guarantee you in the name of the lord jesus christ they will wash their clothes whether they use washing machine or their hand they will do it they will learn it they will learn how to cook all this lawlessness and indiscipline that we call opportunity no it's not opportunity determination many people think they are not succeeding because there's nobody to help them but it's not true the person gets up and goes to steal when you catch him and you say why did you steal he said oh why wouldn't i steal my father sleeps around my mother is dead and that person seems to justify his situation did you try going to ask somebody to give you a cutlass to weed their house and you receive 500 naira for it see we we don't have persistence i'm telling you this we lack determination is god speaking to us determination so we are lukewarm and we are cold we want things to happen to us automatically it doesn't work that way you've got to work it out how many preachers want to know the word but they don't want they don't have the determination to learn you never see them study you never see them do anything they don't get up and tell you my ministry by the grace of god will work see nothing in your life will work till you commit yourself to making it work how many marriages want to work automatically how many relationships want to work automatically there's no such thing as that there must be a labor on your own part to enter your rest number two the second principle we violate consistently to our detriment is that we do not passionately pursue wisdom and understanding please write it down the second mistake that we keep making as believers to our detriment is that we do not passionately pursue wisdom and understanding the bible says wisdom is the principal thing let me tell you what we pursue we pursue the children of wisdom we pursue what wisdom can produce money fame glory greatness those are children of wisdom are we together now it's like a man who wants a child but does not want a wife it is the presence of a woman and her ability to take in right that will produce a child so you want a child yet you do not want the responsibility of getting married it doesn't work that way 
Everybody say wisdom. Everybody say understanding. I have learned in my life by the word of God and experientially the excellency of wisdom and understanding. For many of us, what you need is simply a key, a certain understanding, wisdom and understanding to take you from where you are to the next level. The Bible says through wisdom a house is built. He said by understanding it is established. And through knowledge the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing. Wisdom. I remember years ago I used to fall into a particular trap of foolishness. Again and again. It had to do with relating with people. And it was one wisdom key from Mike Modoc. I was anointed. I loved God. But there was so much foolishness in that area. And life kept punishing me. One wisdom key from Mike Modoc that set me free. And this is what he said. Never try to be God to anybody. That wisdom was my deliverance. Never try to do to people what only God can do to them. That one key alone set me free. And there are many more of these keys. We do not passionately pursue wisdom. Let me tell you something. Many of us sit down and we want wisdom to come and meet us. No. You pursue. Do you know the Bible gives wisdom the attribute of a woman? It's only a foolish man who will cross his leg and allow a lady to come and meet him. And say marry me say hey i've been waiting for you are we together now only a foolish person would do that wisdom everyone say wisdom everyone say understanding i can see your passion for wisdom by how many successful people you are willing to sit down at their feet to learn listen listen let me tell you i am amazed at how many great people pass us and listen i want to challenge us right now we travel for ministrations all the time whenever we get to where where they are checking us the hotels where they are checking us the people in the hotel some of them are cleaners some of them are maybe those who are just waiters or whatever it is they watch men of god business executives sometimes political figures come and wait at the reception for instance to see me for hours yet they are the same people that have access to clean the room are you seeing lack of wisdom and it never occurs to them what is in this man that is making these people who are already great to a measure come and wait is that not an opportunity to use the use the opportunity of scrubbing a toilet and just kneel down and say man of god i don't know you will do something to me how many people pass? Listen, how many people do you pass every day who have the keys to your miracle? But because you have no passion for wisdom, you trivialize their presence. Let me ask you three questions that will surprise you. How many people, undergraduates or people who are yet to get admission, have ever gone to meet a first class student and buy wine and sit down and tell him, sir? Do you have something you can teach me that will accelerate my success how many of us here we have access to our daddy here prof right there are all kinds of people how many of you have ever said sir could you give me an appointment at your schedule i just want you to teach me about life you have been able to raise your children and you are successful we don't want wisdom that's the truth are we together that's the truth anytime I want to succeed in an area my first assignment is to find out those who are excelling in that area at its best and I will pay any price within the boundaries of righteousness to follow them I have pursued uncommon mentors they stung my ego but I still pursued because I know what I'm looking for many of us are too arrogant to be wise we are too arrogant to have understanding. 
we do not submit to the laws of life and it punishes us I had the privilege of sitting down with a great man one time man of God and I was asking him questions I was throwing questions at him and he looked at me and he said you are very wise I was asking him questions and when he got access to koinonia page and he saw what God was doing he said ah it's not like you are struggling in ministry I said no anybody greater than you knows something you do not if you will humble yourself and pursue it will make your life easy let me tell you still related to the second point we we don't ask questions that's why our lives are hard we we work with too much assumptions we don't ask questions when you see somebody who is rich truly rich you don't pay the price to ask him what are the secrets what are you doing we are living in the same world. When you see somebody who is anointed, you never pay the price to say, how, how are you doing it? A brother is looking for a wife. There is another brother with 10 ladies wanting to marry him. And that one is angry. Instead of humbling himself to say, I asked five ladies out. I even had a dream about two. They all said no. My brother, is there something you are doing? And he tells you, ah, this is one secret about ladies. They always want an environment of joy and peace. Your environment is very choking, very serious. Make that adjustment. Wisdom. Is God speaking to us? We live lives on assumption. Assumption is the least level of knowledge. You can't afford to assume on your destiny. Ask questions. I ask questions about ministry. I ask questions about greatness. I ask questions about different areas of life. When last did you ask a successful? See, don't ask somebody who is struggling just like you. Love them, but they are not the kind of people who... Pro you see, let me tell you why many of us fail. When things are not going well, you meet your colleague that two of you are struggling together. And you say, what's your idea about this? Say, thank you for asking me. And I think it is A and B and C. Learn from everybody, but pursue successful people. Learn from everybody. Even the ant has something to teach you. So learn from everybody. But don't sit down and mentor failures. You will be like them. I never pursue average people. I never pursue weak people. I never pursue people with results. I pursue people who know how to reproduce the results. Show me a man that knows nothing but has the humility to seek wisdom. That's why I love my Bible. My Bible for me is God's treasure of wisdom. Mike Mudok, can you take it down? He sings a beautiful song, one of his best songs. He says, your favor is like sunrise wiping all my nights away i found the cure to my foolishness i can't trust my life outside this world there's too much foolishness that culture has given me there's too much foolishness that growing up as a young man has put in me i need something to edit my life to wisdom and this is what i found that's why for me the word of god is a matter of life and death it is your cure for a foolish life lift your bible And say the word of God is the answer to a foolish life. Say the word of God is my cure for a foolish life. See, don't be embarrassed by what I just told you. And don't feel insulted. In every one of us by default there is foolishness. It will not remove itself like that. It takes the word of God. The more I read the word of God the more I see how foolish I am outside of the word of God. I've seen things. Listen, there are times a few people who, who have access to my private life see. Sometimes I'm studying the Bible and you can see me, I can just stop and tears are just running out of my eyes because I found the answer to the cure for a foolishness in my life. If you are embarrassed that there are foolish things you are doing, you will never rise.
I love sitting at your feet. That's his song. I love hearing what you say. I love knowing your desires. I'm so pleasure to obey. Your favor is like sunrise driving all my nights away. I love sitting at your feet every single day. I love sitting at your feet every single day. Whose life are you unembarrassed to pursue and learn from? If there is nobody before you, no successful person, you are pursuing passionately to learn wisdom, I guarantee you life will punish you again and again. I don't want to be poor in my life. I hate poverty. And so I made up my mind to learn everything I could learn about wealth. I still am learning. I've studied the wealthiest people on earth. Literally, all the billionaires, one by one, I've studied their lives. I've studied people who demonstrated wealth in the Bible. Abraham, Isaac. I've studied men like Bishop Oyedepo, Kenneth Copeland, David Ibiume, people who represent the portrait of a prosperous life. I pay the price to seek knowledge. I've studied the largest churches in every continent. I know them. I can tell you without thinking. I've studied the lives of the pastors. What brought the crowds to them? I've studied the lives of very anointed people, right from the generals to great men like Benny He. What was their secret? The reason why we fail again and again is we are not studying successful people. The Bible says in Isaiah 51, it says, Look unto Abraham your father and to Sarah that bore thee. He said, For I called him alone and I blessed him and I increased him. Look unto him, meaning understudy his life. Please, sh cut short your journey to success by following wisdom. Pursue it. Wisdom leaves trails behind. If you are interested, you will find it. Don't try to discover a road that has been found. Ask for the ancient paths. Don't labor trying to discover it. It's been found. There's nothing you really want in life that somebody has not gotten. So that's the second law we violate. We do not passionately pursue wisdom and understanding. There are times I can lock myself up for two days, three days, and all I'm watching is videos upon videos. Videos of men of God. Sometimes I can play worship songs or play the videos of men of God. And while it is playing, I will just be praying in tongues all through. I have in my phone videos i partition my phone into different compartments worship songs teachings that bless me are not possible say in the name of jesus i make up my mind to pursue wisdom and to get understanding brothers and sisters look at me i don't care what is not working in your life right now I don't care what the ridicule is. You can determine the lifespan of your tragedy by the speed with which you pursue wisdom. You prolong your tragedy when you fail to seek wisdom. You prolong your tragedy. Ah! The moment you find wisdom, begin to rejoice, even if you are in the fire, because you are coming out. For sure. For sure. Number three, 
the third principle we keep violating to our detriment is that we do not live by the truths that we have found how true some of us and for many of us who have been coming for koinonia and have had access to the teachings the truth is many of us there are very few of us that will say we do not know certain laws especially in certain areas but we do not live by the truth we know you see knowledge is not power consistently applied knowledge is what is power the truth you know that you do not live by notice i did not say practice let me tell you another mistake we make many of us try to practice we don't live by you see when you try to practice a thing it's because your conviction about it is still dwindling when your conviction about a thing is certain you don't practice you live by it those who practice principles are conscious of the results those who live by principles know it must produce they have moved past just results ah but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded job was so confident that when a man hooks up to god he can come out of everything and he says though he slay me yet will i praise him he said all the days of my appointed time i will wait until my change comes it was this understanding that made daniel listen daniel was not trying to practice faith he was living a life of faith that's why when they threw him in the lion's den let me tell you how those who try to practice these principles behave when they try to practice they are looking at the other end of it for results and the moment they don't find result once twice those who are trying to practice prayer they pray for one week and then they quickly watch the result and they say this thing is not working then they gas out they try to look for something else but there are those who live by prayers those who practice trying to study the word those who try to practice staying in god's presence listen don't try to practice these principles live by them meaning sustain a conviction that is beyond their producing results to you that if they never produce results you cannot undo them again we do not live by the truth we know inaction and disobedience has been one serious reason why many of our lives have been stuck in one place in action closely related to this we don't take steps we never act we are afraid listen i shared it during the graduation of our school of ministry students you will have to take a step one day and walk on the water a day will come you must take that step you must take that step take it and fail but take it the one who takes a step and fails is more honorable than the one who never takes any step. The one who wrote jump five times and failed is more honorable than the one who just sits down and didn't write jump. Are we together? The one who tried to look for ten jobs with zero results is better than the one who just kept his certificate lying down and complaining and saying in the days of our parents, government used to give people jobs. step out of that comfort zone step out of that place of comfort i know somebody who got a job he got a job as a student i think he was in 300 level when he got a job he had mastered it was something that had to do with it and he knew it so well he went and took a step and wrote a proposal and you know when he wrote it they asked him they thought he had graduated and served and when he wrote everything they said okay so um, what did you study he said no I'm, I'm still a student in training and the man said walk out of my office he said, sir please give me about five or ten minutes according to what he said if i do not convince you that i know what i'm doing i will step out and the mistake that man made was to give that guy ten minutes and he wowed him there and then they gave him a job he was paying immediately he finished he went to serve there he's still working there but there are other people who that man is their uncle 
there are people who are neighbors to that workplace how many people for instance who live very close to cjc here and have been oppressed by demons for many years and have never come to just sit down it's just a two minutes walk am i right just a two minutes walk when they see people gather they'll sit down outside and be talking when i step out they say that's him and then all the stories that follow are we together disobedience you must live by conviction so i've identified three things let's review it quickly number one is lack of determination see if you want to be anointed you will be anointed the reason why the anointing has not come in your life is because you have not pursued it diligently you are pursuing the anointing as if um have you seen a hungry man looking for food yeah it doesn't say please microwave it uh, sharply i mean somebody that let's say three days fast I, I i don't like food that is cold or it looks like why this rice is looking sticky it's like it has spoiled he will first eat it is when he's done you say ah, but this rice why is it tasting like this because he divorced it that's how you must pursue life everything i do i seek it with see that's why I'm hardly committed in many things. Because I have a contagious level of commitment. I'm not committed in many things in my life. But when I commit to things, I stay there. I stay there. I'm committed to the assignment that God has given me. Even if I come for koinonia and I find only two people, I will feel bad. I will go for a retreat and ask what happened. But it will never make me just get up and say, Talk, Lord, that's it. Um, let me just dust my form and go and look for pilgrims. Uh, uh, what do you call it? A trip to Jerusalem to just go there and be like many Nigerians and never come back. Just dodge and run away. Or let me go and look for green card and relocate to America. No. Kai, you must have the spirit of a fighter. Many of us don't know how to fight. We are too weak to succeed. You must have the audacity of winners. Is God speaking to us tonight? Please! You are not the first to fail. You are not the first to try. You want to build a house. You have only five naira. You will sit down there and die not building that house. If you really want to, you will build it. Say after me, I have the spirit of a winner say it say i have a determination of a winner say in the name of jesus i will weary failure until i succeed say it again in the name of jesus i will weary failure until i succeed i remember one of our great ones mazi prosper is his wedding in i think a week or two from now and he returned from the states and came to my place and he was thanking me we were talking i met mazi prosper in 2004 when he started his comedy the truth is he wasn't very funny when he started all those things sometimes you just laugh it's more of his face that makes you laugh than the joke are we together now and so i said kai this guy but i encouraged him there were times when he would send me a text and say ah, what happened somebody promised him that they would give him a show and then they would later push him back for another person and he should continue i told him keep on keep improving yourself see let me tell you brothers and sisters it's okay for people to laugh at you it's not unusual let them laugh because they'll be the ones to defend you tomorrow they can't say you jump the process because they will say i laughed at him even me i thought he would fail let them laugh at you are we together they saw when you started the business they saw when you started the saloon they saw when they came and locked the shop because you could not pay rent they even helped you to pack your things out of the shop with the embarrassment continue in the midst of that years go back and study find out who is the best hairstylist what are their secrets labor and pay the price to get knowledge when you have the leading saloon in any place people will say i said i said it even those who criticize you i knew he would be successful 
Oh, brothers and sisters, it's great to conquer challenges. The other side of pain is sweet. I tell you this from experience. The other side of pain is delightsome. A woman carries pregnancy, spitting all around, looking as if she would die. But when the child comes, people come to visit her and they bring gifts. And she looks at a new baby and she's blessed. Learn this. The other side of pain is glory unlimited. If you think it's costly to be successful, let's consider the alternative. Are you ready to consider the alternative? Failure all the way. Pain all the way. Broken down and spread through your lifetime. It's better for me to take 10 years of my life and pay the price and live the remaining part of my life making a mark for the kingdom than living in denial and living in fear and living in lies for 70 years of my life. And in my old age, I find out that the prophecy of those who hate me have become self-fulfilling. Be determined. Go for knowledge. Unembarrassingly go for knowledge. See, seeking wisdom will sting your ego. Settle it before the time. Someone came today and met me with a proposal. The first time he sent me a text for the proposal, I didn't even reply him. I just left him. Not intentionally, really. Probably I didn't pay attention to what he was saying. And then he sent it again. And then he sent it again. We returned back from a trip yesterday. He sent another text for me. And then I was talking to a few people this morning. And then he called me. And I said, this guy is serious. I told him, come. When he came, I wasn't concerned about the proposal. I collected it, looked at what he had to it was something about his company he needed advice and I dropped it and I said you are a smart person let me add value to you and I told him sit down I began to share with him a few things I've learned and he was amazed I gave him a few videos I said this will help you I would never do this to anybody by default even my blood brother if you don't seek it you will never get it please stop trying to help people who do not want your help they will trample on your help I've learned this. Learn it. Never try to help people who are not prepared for it. They will not appreciate it. If you are not thirsty and I bring water, you can carry it and stone it back at me. Are we together? Thank you, Jesus. So pursue knowledge. And number three, live by the truths. Live by the truths, please. How many people don't tithe? I tell you, I can almost tell you that more than half of the people here are not consistent with tithing. Don't blame God for closed heavens. I can tell you this. I can look at your life and unashamedly tell you the areas where you are not living by the word of God. It's not a lie. I'm being sincere with us. Is that all right? So that we don't come and lie and fall under the anointing and sweep the ground and get up and go back. We are not living by the word. God is my witness. Ask those who are close to me. Everything God blesses me with before I think of anything, the tight. God's portion is out. I don't practice it. I live by it. It's a law. There's no man who jumps up and continues going up. You must come down. It's a law. Are we together now? Why will you keep punishing yourself by fighting the laws that are older than your existence? Why fight the laws of God? Why not come into alignment? I have learned the excellency. I found myself many times violating the laws of the kingdom and my goodness the experiences have been nasty. Align yourself with the laws of the kingdom and you will find freedom. True freedom. They know not, the Bible says. Neither will they understand. It says they grow up in darkness and the whole earth is out of course. Wisdom. It is wisdom that brought many of us here. Are we together? Listen. When Saul lost his father's when his father's donkey was missing Saul 
and one other person and the servant they were on their way to look for it they tried looking for it by themselves and they had to acknowledge and say look every knowledge we know as far as recovery is concerned we have exhausted it he said see let us take another alternative that's what brought many of us here there are many people who will not humble themselves to say see i have tried this situation i don't know whether it's demonic or is my own but at least let me go to an atmosphere where i can find explanation if you do this you are wise are we together if you do this you are wise and they said there is a man of god let's go and meet him even if we are wrong let us find somebody who can tell us we are wrong notice everybody who met a man of god to solve their problem the man did more than what they, are, they came for he trivialized their problem look at naman his breakthrough was only seven baths away yet he lived his lifetime suffering i have learned by experience that breakthrough is not difficult it is access to the platform for the breakthrough that is hard but the day you find a place of breakthrough brothers and sisters in 24 hours your captivity of decades can come to an end the price is not to get breakthrough the price is to go to the atmosphere where breakthrough is a possibility that's your price is god speaking to us they went to samuel the major issue was the issue of restoration but when they went to samuel listen all that samuel told them was is it not the donkey he's been found please there are more important issues can you imagine to them that was the big deal let's look for our father's donkey but samuel said leave the issue of donkey i speak or yeah he's been found look at naaman when naaman went to go and meet elisha what did he say go and bath it even come out just go and take your bath seven times ah, he went to take his bath and that was the end of it brothers and sisters tonight many of you are face to face with realities that can wipe your tears of decades but it is for you to recognize your own part has been done by coming to the atmosphere now step back and allow god to step in you see that your own part there are few prophets that i've met in my life true prophets one day I met a man of God, a true prophet of God. And I was explaining a few things to him, areas of confusion here in my life. Do you know that before I would talk to this man, he looked at me and smiled. He said, did God not show you what you are going through now? Ah. And I just looked at the man. He said, you are pretending as if God did not show you. But did he not show you the other side too? See that? Yeah. Go and take the yellow book among your books. Read it now. Page 70. That's where God gave you the prophetic word. That's, he said, please, this issue is not the issue we are discussing. Let's discuss the next level of ministry. How is koinonia doing? This is a prophet speaking to me. Ah. How about the dream you had of the next level? This is what we are discussing. I went for something else. I'm hearing something else. That's the character of a true man of God. Some of you now have carried the problem. My rent to oh God. And God is saying, not rent. I'm going to give you an anointing to start up a business. You came for how much is rent? 250. I know it's a mountain to you. But don't joke with God. Once you are in that atmosphere, expect him to do more. Expect him to do more. Hallelujah. There is one requirement from you tonight. That requirement is to accept that you need help that's the last thing i would require from you if you can accept before god and say lord i've tried everything i know to do i know that this thing is not as hard as it is but i submit myself to your wisdom you have changed the lives of people within 24 hours you have brought restoration and healing and hope for people brothers and sisters that sickness can leave that it has stayed 20 years does not mean that's how to stay you can choose to hear this word from god 
and argue it and just say well nice preaching your problem only affects you I hope you know but you can tremble at his word and say this is the key one prayer that God will never reject is the cry of mercy from a man who needs his help when a man comes to the end of his life I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself. When you come to that point and you say, Lord, you spoke to me that I'm going to be a kingdom financier. I'm short of ideas. I've come to the end of my life. Lord, I need direction. I don't know whether it's job now or marriage. I don't know whether it's Zaria now or, or, or I'm going to London or I'm going to Calabar or I'm staying in, 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 in Kogi State. I need direction. You will never, never receive direction and help from God by default. Jesus Christ saw blind Bartimaeus. He passed him as if he didn't see him. Blind Bartimaeus said, Thou son of David! I'm sure people say, keep, keep, keep quiet. The guy cried the more. He said, wicked people, you have eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm blind. Tonight, you may be going through all kinds of things. Brothers and sisters, the power of God is available. You have taken the first right step to come to the atmosphere. The second step is surrender. You must receive his help because you can reject it. You can reject the help of God. Before we begin to pray, Papa Adeboye shared a story and talked about a man who was on a wheelchair. And that man was on a wheelchair. And people kept giving the man money. He became rich because every time people would give him money. And then one time during a program, Papa Adeboye looked at him and he was moved with compassion by the Holy Spirit. And he was going to pray for him. And he, he was led to ask him, do you want to be well? The man said, no. He looked at him, ah, be well? Why should I stand up when my life has changed on this chair? And truly the man told him, all I want is money. I don't want to be well. I think eventually the guy got healed and he was angry. That's according to Papa Deboe. He said the guy was angry because he said, now I will have to work for myself. No excuse again. Take over, take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over, I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over, I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Say, Lord, I need help. Mention the areas you need his help. If you don't need any help, pray for Koinonia. Pray for the ministry. Lord, I need help. Pray. I need help in my marriage. Pray. I need help in my finances. I need help in my academics. I need help on my job. Are you praying? Thou son of David, I cry for your mercy. Oh, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second prayer point. Lord, I know it is within your power to help me. I ask for your help. Let your power address my case tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know. Oh, it is within your power to give me a husband. It is within your power to give me a wife. It is within your power to cause my business to flourish. It is within your power to bring restoration. It is within your power to give me a child. It is within your power to cure HIV. It is within your power to deliver me. Oh, pray. It will put a new song in your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. We are going to cry for grace. I just showed you your contribution to your failure. You must take responsibility and say, Lord, I take responsibility and I receive grace to make the adjustments. There's nothing embarrassing about it. From all that I've said, you know the area that affects you. Say, Lord, I take responsibility. The part you cannot do for yourself, you will do. But the part that is your responsibility, you must take responsibility. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, we take responsibility. In the name of Jesus, we receive fresh determination, fresh persistence, fresh determination, fresh persistence. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we receive the grace to pursue wisdom, to seek wisdom like a jewel. We receive grace to pursue understanding. We receive grace to live by the truths that we know. We receive grace to be convicted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shortly we are going to begin ministering. We'll be very fast today. I want to see how we can close on time. So we're going straight to the point. Hallelujah. We'll try to do everything very, very fast and see how we can beat time as much as possible. Hallelujah. You're going to prophesy what you want to happen to you by yourself. Are you ready now? Please, I want you to speak it. These are instructions from God. I know you have been praying in your secret place. It's not the same thing you are doing now. Open your mouth and prophesy everything God will do for you. Lift your voice and pray. I walk out of here healed tonight. Come on now. SS, you must leave me tonight. AS, you must leave me tonight. Confusion must end in my life tonight. 
that idea that I need for my business that idea that I need for promotion that restoration I refuse to walk out of this place without that restoration that mantle that renewed spiritual life that clarity that prophetic word Oh yes, 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 pray, pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that every spirit from darkness that has held your life, pray that you must be delivered this night every spirit tying your family every spirit tying your progress pray enough is enough he must live my life lord i must be delivered today hallelujah 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 in recent time i have seen tremendous increase of the anointing of the spirit upon my life especially in the area of healing and deliverance i have seen this all my life but i have seen a multiplication of this grace brothers and sisters whatever your challenge is believe me there is an enough anointing to wipe your tears if only you will believe don't be part of those who have come to waste their time there are people standing outside just staring at others forget about them and be focused you know what you are going through miracle service is not it's not a marriage ceremony it's not an album dedication you don't come and just watch and smile you come with anger in your heart and say lord I, I won't go back that way who told you ss cannot be healed who told you as cannot change who told you the the biological problem cannot go who told you you cannot get breakthrough lord jesus we thank you we release this atmosphere to you and your power Lord, I know that you will do amazing things even in this place. We trust you for a quick walk. There are lives, there are destinies that need to be changed. Lord, there are people under all kinds of the influence of strange spirits that have tied their lives. Let not one of them escape the power of the Holy Spirit. There are sick bodies that need to be healed, O oh God. Let not one of them escape the healing power of God. There are families that have come with burdens. Lord, I pray. Your people have come with prayer requests. Impossible situations. But they believe in you. So Lord, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now while the ministration continues please if you have not written your prayer requests make sure that you write them it's important it's not a religious formality it's a revelation that god gave us hallelujah during the dinner those of us who are workers will have the opportunity probably to experience the testimonies that have come as a result of answered prayers so in one minute just write your prayer request very quickly so that when we start please if you are yet to write let's just give them an opportunity please help one another with um, papers 
you can feel free to put on your phone contact your loved ones and tell them to send in their prayer requests if it's possible there are many who have sent their own hundreds online Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please make sure you write everything. Write everything you are trusting God to do in your life. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a very simple song. Lift your voice and sing it to your maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
I look at this lady and I see a spirit. A very serious spirit. Hold my hands. The Lord will deliver you huh? from that spirit. Because this is something that wants to destroy your life. Is your sister here? Where's her sister? Is her sister here? Is she here? I need to pray for both of you because I'm seeing an attack coming to your family. There is a spirit that I saw and this is something that has to do with somebody dying. Hallelujah. Who is here? Where is she? Please, let's save time um, very quickly so that we can. We have to pray. I'm seeing death in your family. This is somebody's obituary God wants to avert. You can help her hold her baby if she won't cry. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. For you specifically, there is a spirit that torments you. I need to pray for you. Leading you into things that you do not want to do. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Not, not Pastor Femi. Femi. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Femi, who is Femi? Please, if, if I call your case, please just save our time and come quickly. Femi. Your name is Femi? Who is a visitor? You are the one. From where? Come. From where? Jigawa. Eh? Jigawa. From Jigawa State. Yes. You came from Jigawa State. Yes, sir. The Lord is going to set you on fire. He will yes, take sir. you back there. You didn't just come yes, sir. just for a meeting. I know you just yes, thought sir. you came to receive. I'll call you several times. Sir. Eh? I'll call your number several times. You not be picking. <laughs> you will receive that which you desire. Praise the Lord. Yes. My brother, I'm going to pray for you. Victoria, Victoria, I hear a name Victoria, this is Victoria, let me just respond to this. Victoria, Victoria, there is a Victoria trusting God for a change of genotype, genotype, you're trusting God for a change of genotype, I don't know if it has to do with um, S, S, A, S, anyone like that? This is a Victoria I see. I want to minister to a Victoria that is trusting God for a change of genotype. We have to frustrate. Come. We have to frustrate the power stopping your marriage. Look at me. We have to frustrate the power that is stopping your marriage. Huh? Because it's God's desire for you to settle down soonest. You understand? This is, this is, the devil is not going to lord it over you. We are going to pray. Please, I want you to believe. I don't have to call your case. I'm just flowing because the Holy Spirit is impressing it strongly upon me. And then we'll just get into prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, visit this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother? Who is sick? Who is sick in your family? My mom. Because I'm seeing that, ah, we have to pray. I have, we have to pray. Hmm? This is December. Your mother will just sleep and they will tell you, I'm not a prophet of doom. They will tell you that she's dead. She has been talking about death. We have to rebuke this thing. She has been seeing dead people in a dream she sleeps and she sees dead people and they'll be stretching their hands towards her and asking her to hold them some of them are people who have died before see there are families here with those things but we are going to deal with it praise the lord father in the name of jesus christ i pray for this family that spirit of death over the family 
in the name of Jesus we roll it away we roll it away by the power of the Holy Spirit and for you I curse this spirit that is in you in the name of Jesus when the time for deliverance comes the Lord is going to set you free completely in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you your hands are blessed listen your hands are blessed God expects you to use your hands to bring wealth to yourself your hands are blessed the Lord is saying I should tell you that these hands are blessed hands are you get what I'm saying you have to pray and trust God for ideas the things that you can do with your hands and he will bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ new level come there is still a time for impartation so you receive it but two things God is giving you number one God is giving you wisdom number two God is giving you stability huh I see you but I see like a wind you are here and there God needs to give you stability father you will give him stability in the name of Jesus come my dear I pray for you you will marry a foolish man say amen I curse every spirit delaying her marriage now in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke that spirit come um, I have to pray for you hold my hands Lord she must be free today today is her day of liberty in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke this spirit you must leave her I see you in the spirit out of her right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my dear do you love Jesus very well Huh? Please, he wants you to take him very seriously. Okay? Where are you from, my dear? Benway State. Benway State. Is, who is here with you? My brother. Your brother. Where is he? Brother, please, can you come? I want to speak to him just before we start. This What's his name? Huh? Joseph Okotu. Joseph, where are you? I hear the Lord saying he's bringing restoration to your family. That's why I want to pray for you. We are going to pray. The Lord is saying I should tell you he will give you beauty for ashes. Huh? You may not understand the meaning of what I'm saying. But as the days unfold you will see God honor you. Father let there be restoration for this family. You are going to be a great man of God. Great man of God. God is going to put a teaching anointing upon you. Supernatural grace for teaching. Supernatural grace for teaching. Father, step into this family and do miracles in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in one minute. Let's begin to pray in tongues. Shiva Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Shabra Thank you, Father. Because the oppressed will be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I want to begin to minister. Deliverance is very important. Very, very important. It's the platform that separates you from the spirits and the influences. You see, sometimes some of you do not even know that your lives are under um, certain levels of 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 bondage but then you will need the grace of God you will need the wisdom of God you will need his grace to give you direction and I'm going to pray for you right now my goodness the power of God is strong in this place so many people inside and outside it will surprise some of you because you do not even know now listen this deliverance is not just for individuals in fact God is going to start with families that's what I see God doing hallelujah praise the lord you've heard this happen again and again i don't know why god does this but the lady is going to shout under the anointing and this is what will introduce that grace a loud shout by the spirit of the living god lift your hands father thank you for your power and your presence in this place right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i want everyone to shout jesus from the depth of your heart I challenge every spirit 
I challenge every voice and every altar, oh God, that has kept your people bound, that has kept families bound. There's no place for escape for you tonight. Lord, I pray that in a mighty way, as your people begin to shout, you visit them. My goodness, the power of God is already coming on people. At the count of three, one, two, get ready now. Get ready. Three. Fire upon you right now. Deliverance fire in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Help them, please. Help those people right now in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside. I release the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. I see the power of God along this region. Right here where the ministers are staying. I see the power of God right now. I cast that spirit. I challenge every power, every fraternity from hell that keeps people bound in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Those outside alone, those inside you can relax. Those outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. There are people who are tied to covenants. I hear covenants in the spirit. People tied to covenants. As you shout that name, it's like a wind that will blow outside. And the power of God will begin to set people free. Are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, three. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We release deliverance outside. We release mighty deliverance. Now lift your hands. You don't have to shout. Just keep it lifted. Hallelujah. I'm going to begin to speak and prophesy. And for all those who are affected, the power of God will begin to touch them. Bring them out here. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Now I pray. Every family here, under any spell, every family, Lord, where are they? Right now, let the power of God touch them. Touch them now. Now, now. Right now, in the congregation, every family, under any kind of spell i bring deliverance right now i bring deliverance right now in the mighty name of jesus i bring deliverance help that lady i bring deliverance right now right now keep your hands lifted right now father identify families that have suffered every cause right now in the name of jesus all over the congregation inside and outside hallelujah keep your hands lifted no instruments just keep your hands lifted i'm going to pray i see fire rolling in the realm of the spirit now that fire listen that fire is going to come upon individuals i'm hearing stagnation that's what i'm hearing please keep your hands lifted inside and outside lord wherever those people are get set right now as i speak the fire will burst and begin to touch people stagnation wherever they are shake it it begin to touch them right now by that fire receive it right now right now right now right now right now all over the building in the name of jesus christ that spirit of stagnation that has been responsible i see some people being touched outside i see people being touched outside hallelujah this row lift your hands just this row lift your hands the lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you the moment i stretch my hands the power of god will move in dramatic ways and i'm hearing in my spirit breakthrough that's what is coming please make sure you believe 
at the count of three i want you to shout jesus it will be a mighty move of the spirit lord i do as you have instructed and at the count of three let there be breakthroughs one two three help them please we command it in the name of jesus bring them out lift your voice and begin to pray every force that has tied down my life you must leave me right now pray as some of you are praying the power of god will be touching you every spirit that is responsible make sure you are praying hallelujah please lift your hands only the ladies i want to pray for you only the ladies a woman represents a gate in the spirit and there are many ladies whose gates are tied and closed but the bible says to open up the two leaf gates it will surprise you what will happen to many of you right now please keep your hands lifted father i pray in a mighty way let every lady's destiny that has been closed at the count of three as they shout jesus let those gates be open get set now ladies one two three open now open now open now my goodness i see padlocks opening that's what i'm seeing in the spirit open up those gates in the name of jesus open up those gates open up those gates now open up those gates now open up those gates now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen lift your voice and violently pray in one minute and command that spirit to leave you go ahead and pray please by the power of the holy spirit you must leave my family just keep praying it's a new season by the anointing of the holy ghost every unclean spirit attaching itself to our lives hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord who came with this woman i'm seeing a spirit tying this woman watch this who came with mama out of her hold my hands mama listen she can't walk hold on mommy this woman cannot walk well you see this who don't worry stroke look at this how many of you believe god can do a miracle for this woman i command the spirit right now that spirit leave this woman right now in the name of jesus she doesn't hear very well too in the name of jesus i command the ears to be open mommy look at me lift your leg just carry it lift your leg carry it come come walk come 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 look at this walk by yourself come come look at this look at this look at this give jesus praise give jesus praise hallelujah listen she doesn't hear very well mama 
Jesus. Jesus. Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Come, Mama. Look at this. You know that this is a spirit that has tied this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, we end captivity. Stretch your hands and pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns her. This is somebody's mother. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Mama, this mama, come, your time of breakthrough has come. Hold on. Look at what's wrong with you? My leg cannot open. Your leg cannot this open. Leg, uh, this leg. Uh, how long? 20 something years. 20, how many years? Uh, it's getting Who knows her? Years. You know you are their son. Come now. You come and stand close to your mother. How many years? More than 20 years. Where are you from? We are from Sabongari. Mama? You believe Jesus will touch yes, you? Yes, sir. I tell you, there is nothing Jesus cannot do. Yes, there is sir. the anointing. You believe it? Yes, sir. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Heal me. Heal me. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Heal me. Heal me. Father, you died for this reason right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be healing right now. Look at what is happening to her. In the name of Jesus. Mama, hold my hands. Walk. Come. 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 Try to climb. Now, lift your leg. Try to lift it. It didn't used to open before. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, go ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift it and do what you could not do. Just do it. Do it. Open the other one. In the name of Jesus. God is already giving you a miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit. Can you see a miracle happening? She could not open the leg completely could not open it in the name of jesus christ look at look at this god is giving this woman a eh? before she said she, she could not stand for five minutes i cannot stand for five minutes but right now god is touching you your back will be paining you in the name of jesus christ this perfection you have started that back ache i lay my hands and i release the anointing in the name of jesus christ just keep under the anointing. She'll stand up and check herself. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another mother. I don't know why God is visiting our mothers right now. I'm seeing, Mama, please come. Can I talk to you, Ma? Somebody help that woman. Please, don't, if we talk to you, speak whatever language you can speak. There will always be somebody to interpret it. It doesn't have to be that you must speak English. Who's, whose mother is this? Eh? Well done, Mommy. What's, what's the issue? What brought her here? She has been complaining of different illness. Mama, what's wrong with you? I got BP. I got BP. This twenty day, my blood they move like this. this my as blood. I'm looking at our mother, Mama, as I look at you, I'm seeing something like a snake all around your stomach. That thing starts moving. Is that? True? And then it comes towards your chest area uh, then sometimes you feel pain at your back here yes, sir. that mm -hmm. devil will leave you right now Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ you believe in Jesus I'm going to pray that God will use this lady because I looked at her and I just saw a dove rise from her you what's your name faith faith yes sir you will be a woman of faith you believe that let me pray for you father anoint this lady let your power come upon her in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will use you mightily. Mama, let's pray for you. Lay your hands on your chest, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, God is healing you right now. High blood pressure, high blood pressure and every other sickness, I rebuke it right now. And I command the spirit that oppresses you to live. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen if you know you are involved in anything whether maybe you have a shop you are in business and nothing is working just lift your hands i want to pray for those people right now that's what the holy spirit is telling me please believe
Why is she out? Come, you're a mother. We can't keep you standing there. Let me just attend to her. Please, you don't have to come out. We'll attend to you. Whose mother is this? My son is outside. Your son? Okay, what's, Paul, what can Paul, we do for you? Paul. I'm weak from here downwards. You are weak from? Um, my waist downwards. Downwards. You can walk. It's just that the pain is there. The pain, I used to feel pain. I can't sit for long. Unless I lie down, I can't stand for long. Okay, mama, just clear the way. Let mama, you are her son. You're welcome. Let her just sit down there. We'll soon pray for the sick. When it's time, you just bring her there so that you can hurry up. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, you don't have to come out. We are going to... Listen, listen. We are going to pray. We'll invite people to come out now. Well, I'm going to pray for the sick. I'll lay hands on all of you. Praise the Lord. So that we can just hurry up. If we do it one by one like this, we may not have all the time. Um, but why, why is she... Uh, my problem... One year, I'm eating in the dream. You are eating the dream? Yes. Food, you mean? One year now. For one year, non stop? Last month, on um, today's 15 days, my stomach, my back, in the pain. I know be sleep. I know be eat. Last, uh, last week, uh, Friday, I entered hospital. They give me medicine. I don't take all the medicine. Never stop. One. We we'll pray. Jesus Christ will set you free. In the name of Jesus. Mama, you two, just go and sit down there. Please, no. Our mothers, don't worry. When we start praying for the sick, this is what we'll do. We may give room so that we we'll start with some of our elderly ones. So that they can go back. They may not have that strength. Will that be fine? So as you line up, if you see any elderly man or woman, you can just push them forward so that we minister to them. And then they can go and sit down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But lift your hands now. I want to release breakthrough. I mean, I, I mentioned the case right now. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise Him. I will sing to Him a new song. And I will praise Him. I will sing to Him a new song. I will praise Him. I will sing to Him a new song. And I will praise. Every force, Kabbalah, Tabbalah. Keep your hands lifted. That has tied down your business. All the works of your hands. Some of you will feel fire on your hand. Literal fire. It will start burning on your hands right now. In the name that is above all names. I pray. As that fire comes on your hand. Ideas begin to come to you. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. It's already happening to people right now. It's happening to people. The fire is coming on people. Help this brother, please. The fire is coming on people right now. Your hands, ideas, ideas. This fire represents ideas. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, as we pray for the sick, I know there are many people here who are sick. Please be orderly as you come. While that is happening, every prayer request, please pass it over to the ushers. You have your prayer request. You can use the time to call some of your loved ones. By the way, when we begin to prophesy, for some of you who have your loved ones at home, you can put on the phone and connect with them, honestly. If they have the faith to receive and they believe, they'll be surprised at what happens to them. You are trusting God for a healing miracle. Make your way to the front now and begin to pray. There is a God that heals here. Yes. Mama, please don't cry. Can you get her a handkerchief, please? Uh, 
help our mother with this handkerchief, please. Please make your way to the front. It's called a miracle service. Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Forward all the elderly ones to the front. Please, all our elderly ones. Looked around and I realized That you've been so good to me standing here can we begin to talk to the Lord and say Father peace in who am I that you are mindful of me who am I that you hear my cry when I call you how can I love you more know you more Source of my strength, now you, the strength of my life, my hope and my joy, my confidence, now you, the other source of my life, the strength of my life, my hope and my joy, my confidence. show you look at this oh my god put a camera here look at this can you see this person bring the person here look at this this is death already look at this i think you can can they see it on camera look at this you know that this is this is this is already this is an obituary who is her mother this is her mother crying who is her mother? Why did the mother stay outside now and bring the... Oh, she went to bring Matt. They brought the girl on a... What's wrong with her? She has been sick for over six months now, but they have been not... They have not ever been... No diagnosis. You will look at her and think it's HIV. Brothers and sisters, hear me. When a spirit enters a man, it leaves out his character through that person. Okay, let's let's hear from the mother, please. What language can she speak? Kurama. Who is Kurama here? Huh? You are, please. Don't can she speak Hausa? Mama Ki Hausa? Rabuda Suki Hausa? We will never put pressure on anybody. If she can't speak Hausa, she'll speak her language. Um, what is wrong with her? What's the issue with the baby? Uh -huh. Cancer. Cancer. Uh -huh. Eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Cancer. The eighth took and, her. And the eighth took her. And Basr. Basr. What's that? Uh -huh. Pile. Cancer. HIV. Uh -huh. Look at this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tell her she brought. She brought her expecting. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. Tell her she came expecting Jesus to touch her. Jesus, okay. Kina. Kana Osa. So say, Kede in Ani. Kasuna. Kede in Kasuna, she never hear Osa. But is that not your language? Mama Kerkita, we are going to pray for her now. Go. We are going to pray for her. Just clear the way. Can she hear? Kana Ji. Eh. How old is she? Help 
man. She, she. You would think this girl is, is 10 years. She's 30 years. 30 solid years. Supposed to be married, right? With her children. She's married with two children. Oh my God. Huh? Mama? Okay. This is cancer, HIV at a terminal state. The source of my strength now you strength of my life now you my open my joy hey, my confidence source of my life strength of my life my open my joy My dear, can you speak English? Can you speak English? No, don't worry. Can you hear me? You can hear me. You believe Jesus can touch you? Do you believe that? Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is able to touch you. Father, show this lady mercy. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil by the blood of Jesus Christ I command that spirit of infirmity that devil of HIV that devil of cancer I command him to leave her in the name of Jesus Christ I will ask you people to help her get up eventually my dear look at me look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I release strength to you strength to you strength to you try to move your hands or your leg go ahead try to move your hand or your leg if you can do you have enough strength for that can she hear me she's so weak she can't even hear me as well just leave her to lie down with the glory as i pray for other people i mean she's so weak she cannot even hear me god the devil is wicked listen i assure you that whatever it is What's that? Okay, the request. Don't worry. We'll pray for you. Hallelujah. Just leave her to soak in the glory here while she gets some strength and we'll try to lift her up and see what happens. Father, I pray for everyone here. Let the power of God touch them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone came. Please be patient. You don't have to rush. The Lord himself will touch you. You came for a reason. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to tell me what is wrong with you. If I ask you, you can tell me, but it doesn't matter. The spirit of death is on this woman. But mama, look at me. Come, please. What's wrong with her? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Yes. What's wrong with you, madam? Now, since where would they for Abuja? Now, the bubble. Where the bumble blow? So what? I'm I'm selling something for Nyanya. Yeah. I'm selling food here. Yeah. Where bomb will blow for that side? Bomb. Uh, oh, uh, bomb blast. Yes, I now fall down. I know I cannot get out. They carry me to go hospital. Oh, the bomb blast. blast that happened in Nyanya. Yes. So it affected you. Eh. Uh, so I can't get out. They carry me go hospital. So, uh, I spent four months go no go. They carry me go flying place. He collected uh, fifty thousand. They, call, they carried you go where? Uh, plan, man. May go treat me. Say hospital, no figure. A doctor or oh, have a list. Uh, okay. Plan, man. It's okay. The full animal collected 50,000. You know, I've said it again. Please hear me. Listen, let me let me press it down. Any man, I don't care who, who tells you to bring money to get a miracle, even if it's me, run away. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mama. Our mothers, I'm begging you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any man, any priest, any prophet, any pastor, any apostle, any human being, herbalist, whoever, that asks you to give him money so that you give him miracle, tell him, Joshua Selman said he's a thief. He's not a man of God. Are we together? And now we start the cure the thief. The, if you give me medicine, I drink, I will bring bad, bad dream in the night. So, tell her that four months, go and no go. 
Uh, I should bring 30,000 again. Uh, and also put the child to my children again now. And now start the bed with my no grief. That mommy and my girl is for some room before. We mommy, for some what, what? Now I can't serve, I can't serve my room here. Come and say, come and I work out for prayer to prayer. But I didn't hear prayer for you. When they say, I know they come. I know they come. I'll just lie down. They feel pain every Do you know that there are spirits that stop men? from going to the place of their breakthrough have you seen people that you try to bring for koinonia on your way going they just change their mind it's not them there is a spirit i tell you that you make your way here alone is a sign that god is ready to visit you okay what 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 exactly so machine it just come. You say where the grass and at this church he says, Oh make a go, make go in offer. Welcome the usher people. Say where they go, they go to my church. I know people waka. These people can serve God, then then carry me from machine down. They hold my hand. God Carry's bless our hand. ushers. I sit down. When I sit down, finish, they come they address me, say make I no hurry to enter. So and now where they start they play, I entered through gate. That I just stand up with my with my now this hand they just stand for all this side, you know. And now suddenly stand up. Uh, stand. God come give me a the strength. My power. What what power. part of your body is not working very well? Yes. Now? What part? Yeah, I go so oh your leg. Oh I see. Father, it's, it's okay, madam. Ma mama, uh, we, we get what is wrong with you now, eh? In Jesus' name we pray for you. If she couldn't walk oh, there is a spirit at work in you that spirit will leave you now I command that devil leave her you think it's bomb blast but oh she could not walk oh. they had to carry her and now she's even standing that's even a miracle in the name of Jesus madam look at me hold my hands I minister strength to you look at me come come help her in the name of jesus walk i'll hold you walk okay look at me look at me start walking by yourself come came on a bike could not walk come slowly just take it slowly look at this you can see that it's happening gradually. Gradually. These hands were paralyzed. Madam, look at me. Try to lift it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Look at this. Lift it. Lift it. Drop it down. Lift it again. Lift it again. Completely paralyzed. Completely paralyzed. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. A miracle is happening. Do what you couldn't do. The devil is a liar. The more you take that step of faith, the more you see God stepping in. Father, this miracle is perfected in her body in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Just keep exercising her. We'll have to pray. Please, any special case, we'll minister it. Our time is gone. I saw the spirit of death. She was supposed to die in that bomb blast. I didn't even know it was Nyanya bomb blast. That Boko Haram bomb blast. May you never be a victim of any man's wickedness. In the name of Jesus Christ. The moment I pray for you, please, as you return back, check yourself and do what you couldn't do before. If it's a striking, striking testimony, we'll just take it here. Worship team, lead us through sessions of worship as we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. short of blood I look at you sir and your face has changed to the face of a cat this is what leaks your blood this is what I'm seeing this is demonic you understand what I'm saying there was a time you had a dream and a dog was following you dog dog was pursuing you and I need to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death 
the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit, that devil of darkness to leave. Please stand in and connect for your loved ones. We have so many people. Let's see how far we can. stretch your hands at this baby and let's close this hole in the name of Jesus you will have a child make sure you are praying one month two weeks a hole in his heart if God does not step in this baby will either die or something will happen I tell you we are the church of the Lord Jesus Christ we can agree father we reject this we reject this as you are rejecting it for this child so it will be your life reject it lord your church is praying we change this report baby we speak to you baby you will not die you will not die you will not die we close this hole hallelujah go and check him don't cry don't cry eh? you are not going to lose your baby in the name of jesus christ amen we are going to pray it's going to be very very fast as i lay my hands on you just it's just a touch there is a reason why i'm doing this myself and i lay hands on you just a touch the lord is wiping your tears the lord is wiping your tears and not just because you are crying physically this woman is coming with so much pains the lord is wiping your tears now in the name of jesus out of her that demon that causes pain in the name of jesus christ
let her go now. Out! Make sure you submit the prayer request. Ushers, you can begin to bring the prayer request forward. Please, everybody, inside and outside, make sure you don't miss this next session because that's where you get to receive your personal breakthrough. So please, forward the prayer request. If you still have yours, just lift it up and an usher will come to you quickly. Please, guys, let's do this very fast so that we can finish. As hands are being laid on you, I just want you to believe that God is touching you.
once there is power when we worship you together you are here when we gather in your presence there is power Stretch your hands. Do, do we have all the prayer? Please stand up, everybody. We're wrapping up. Inside and outside. If you are yet to drop your prayer request, please make sure you send it. We believe this is this is it's not a religious activity. It's an instruction that God gave us. Because you see, no matter how I lay hands on everybody one by one, we may not have all the time for everybody to state what their needs are. But then let me tell you something. The truth about it is that I'm not the most important person in this meeting. There is one who is mightier than I. You didn't write these requests to Joshua Selman, I will not even read one of them. This is unto the God who can solve problems. 
come in. Please come. Yes. I've been looking at this woman and I've been wondering what it is that God, what would you want God to do for you? To give me a quality spouse. To give you a quality spouse. This is what I'm looking at this woman and my heart had been drawn to her for a while. Madam, you want to get married because you are not afraid and ashamed to say this in the presence of the people. Look at me. I stake my reputation on this prophecy that I will give you. You hear me? If a man does not come to marry you, go and publish it in the newspaper that I lied. You believe what I'm saying? I will not implicate myself and be a fool like this. Because as soon as I looked at you, you said spouse. I saw a man putting a ring in your hand. That's why I'm telling you what I'm saying. You believe this? Be sure to return and give the testimony. And everybody be sure to look at her. You are seeing her today. When she comes back with her husband. So you don't say that this is stage managed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, just cover her. I'm going to pray. Let me have, okay, it's props water. I wish there's any other one just to pray on it and then they will give her. She's too weak. We can't even test her whether or not. But I see her moving her legs and moving all of this. This is ordinary. Okay, this ordinary water. We'll just pray on it since that's the only thing. She can her child, isn't she? But her child, isn't she? Say me. Roa. Roa ka bata kada. Tozan ya dua ko. Se se ajana bata. Ache yenzu da satita. Ana bata kada. Father, I pray that this water will lose its earthly significance and take on a heavenly significance. That as she takes this, oh God, let this be um, a cleansing agent. Let it be like a drug in her body. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can she hear you? Ask her how she's feeling now. I'm sorry, I forget these things. Mama. You see, she's gaining some strength. She couldn't move before, but we see her gaining some strength. Uncle, you don't. Can you see her gaining some strength? She's even moving. She's pushing her away. Same issue. Something is happening to her. Look at this. Are you seeing? Look at this. Look at this. By herself. Oh. This is the power of the Lord. This in itself is a miracle. If you saw the way they brought her. Mama. Brother, the Holy Spirit is doing something in her life. My dear, as God grants you grace, you can just be moving your body gradually. We, we prayed on this. And... Um, Mama Gashi, Abata, Bakwa Benezesha, for a matter of doa, there was a son Abata. If you keep it there, all these children will come and take you. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your hands on this prayer request as we pray. Let's pray on these requests. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands and let's ask the Lord to visit us. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. Father, we are praying right now in the name of Jesus. We are praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a miracle. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. I'm seeing the Lord giving people miracles of jobs. Jobs. I see employment of jobs. I see a family that dropped a request here. Something about building a house. 
and it looks like you will not complete it the lord is saying before december 25th you will enter that house please pray father visit me talk to the lord tell him your request is here let there be miracles oh god let there be miracles in the name of jesus request here to a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ requests of marriages may they be granted some of you have dropped requests here because the admission list came out and you did not see your name Lord we agree I don't know how you would do it but we agree that there be miracles In the name of Jesus. Lord, we release breakthroughs. We release all kinds of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands as I prophesy. Everyone. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you if i tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please i want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of jesus christ I command breakthroughs to come into your life. Supernatural breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands on your head, I pray. Father, mm, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now, now. Wisdom, help him please. Wisdom in the powerful name of Jesus. Supernatural wisdom. Understanding. Receive the impartation. Wisdom in business. Wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here trusting God for direction in the name of Jesus may the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ 
may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you wherever they are everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting god for a job hands that are lifted in the name of jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that veil be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of God receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus Christ between now and next week koinonia I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access Satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in Jesus name 
everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of jesus christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated in the name of jesus listen i prophesy to you you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder i speak it upon your life in the name of jesus christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life I pray for your dreams and visions of the ideas God has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insight in the name of Jesus from today I declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting God for restoration I pray for you I don't know what you have lost I command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what I'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no I'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ someone will call you and tell you they have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of Jesus Christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of Jesus Christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now very quickly we're out of time please keep standing everybody there are people here who are saying Lord Jesus I'm committing my life and my all to you please keep standing everybody no movements around there are people inside and outside here you came for this meeting and you have seen what the Lord Jesus Christ has done and you are saying Lord I want to surrender my life I've been living my life the way I want but I want to hand it over to you tonight some of you are giving your life to Christ for the first time some of you are rededicating your life you said I've, I've come out once but something has happened in my life wherever you are in the next one minute I know many people outside those inside please join them come out here and I will lead you to give your life to Jesus Christ wherever you are young old don't sit down wait for anybody koinonia celebrate them make your way to the front don't be embarrassed this is what Jesus can do with your life you've given people who are less than him your life why don't you commit everything I know this is not all there are still people inside and outside please make your way quickly God bless you as you come make your way quickly hallelujah while the rest join them God bless you keep coming quickly please hurry up and join them catch up with them it's a decision that will change your life forever we may not know who you are but we know where you are going because with Jesus your journey is secured you've lived your life anyhow and you're saying I'm tired of playing games with God I want to make it right there is always room for you the throne is where you start from hallelujah praise the Lord Jesus. I want you to lift your right hand and say after me Lord Jesus please say it very seriously say Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart I believe in you 
tonight I surrender my life completely to you take everything about me use me for your glory in the name of Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit from today I'm not the same person again the power of sin is broken over my life in Jesus name father I pray for these ones whose hands are lifted bless them they have made a decision for you they remain in you forever give them a new life in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus now, I'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving their hands they will have your details and they will welcome you more warmly very quickly madam we are finished praying tap that madam she can follow them hallelujah praise the Lord now all those who are worshipping with us for the first time very quickly one minute make your way to the front we want you to go back with an anointing and with a blessing honor them koinonia they are the result of your prayers our mothers our fathers our brothers and sisters thank you so much thank you so much they are the result of our prayers our commitment we prayed and asked the lord to bring you and bless you look how many people god is bringing come on celebrate jesus hallelujah now very quickly thank you so much sas mass thank you for coming this is koinonia a meeting put together by eternity network international we're here